and hello again and here we see the mounts for the rear sets on my Norley and the reason we're looking at them is because I've removed the levers and that's because I want to make a replacement pair of levers that suit the bike a bit better than the modern ones that were on there originally and so I've removed those levers taken some measurements from them and come up with a new design that hopefully will fit the bike a bit better and so in this episode we'll go through the whole process of making those levers and uh, we'll see how it's done okay jeff let's see what you got in your scrap pile open scrap, the drawer scrap. all right all right spare stock spare stock. department stock. yeah scrap to me <laughs> right here we've got a whole drawer full of bits and bobs and that off cuts of alloy of alley ah there you go that's eight mil eight mil right put that Bolt. on the can, can we get a, a lever of a lever out of that with that well, we'll put it down there for now and see if we can find any more. Yeah. This is what happens to see. We don't have to go and buy stuff. We just find bits of scrap and whatever and we make stuff. Like see, a lot of that is... Yeah, that looks not bad, is it? That's probably 3 eighths. A lot of it's 3 eighths and 10 mil. Yeah, 3 yeah. eighths. Too thick. Too thick. I don't want a 10 mil thick lever. That's oh, that uh, a bit promising. What's that one? Oh, 8 mil. 8 mil, right, eight okay. Mil. Put it on the shelf. We'll, no. we'll have that one. Can we get anything right. like that? So we might be able to make a lever from that. Anything else? 8 mil. 8 mil, right, great. We'll have that as well. That should be enough now. So if we, pull it, if we put those away, back in the spares department. Oh, is that a bit like 10, That's isn't it? 3 eighths. Right, yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's this right. is why you never, ever throw anything away. It's. Well, the, the, to a lot of firms, this is scrap, yeah, but, but to people who are doing small little brackets jobs, and yeah, stuff, it's, uh, it's invaluable. Yes, it's heaven. Right, it's so, heaven. we'll now just uh, refocus, let me just... Uh, whether we can just get that hole we'll there, just, uh, yeah, yeah. whether that hole will Almost. actually, we can get yeah, that, yeah, and there's enough that. on it. Yeah. The other point, of course, is that it'll be the other way around so that um, it'll go up not down but it doesn't matter yeah. it's flat isn't it so it doesn't matter you can flip it around. We, we can actually bore that hole even if we have to come in a bit and make yes. it a bit bigger yeah, yeah. okay there's so enough, there's enough material so on there to, to make do that. a new lever out of this and then the other I, one i would say you're going to struggle you know no, 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 you, no. you're not going to so get it out we now of pass the, we get the uh the brake side the brake that's side. a bit easier to find you might be able to do that you're going to struggle on that no, i don't know if you push yeah it. You will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to struggle so to picture that, that. The, the hole. It's that, yeah. If okay, that hole so that wasn't can go there, back, that, that can go back in stock. I'm not going to do that. Um, can we get it out of that? Can, oh, yes. Yeah. Oh. yeah, no problem. I think. Or I think can we, we go that way? And, and don't forget, we, we don't need that little hole there, so we can get rid of that. The, oh, ah, yeah. Yeah, no yeah. problem. Right, so. It's ju just on that, just, just enough on that. So now we can make it. two new levers from this. Two valuable bits of uh, spares. <laughs> and over there, we've also got a couple of blanks that we've made up. pegs. Um, which will be the start of some pegs to replace these Beautiful. which in turn means that these levers and pegs are now spare so they might end up on your Kawasaki Unitrack project possibly, possibly. we shall do a deal we shall do a swap we, we, we're so, I'm sure there's yeah. going to be some deal going oh, yeah, on yeah, somewhere yeah. so <laughs> that's a good start um, now it's time to Ooh, uh, and my phone's going okay so that's a good point to stop and I can drink some more tea okay so here we are back at Jeff's a few days later and we've made some progress those scraps of alloy have now been marked out and they've been drilled, as you can see. And next we're going to maybe uh, drill out these holes to make them look cool and then shape it around the outside. First of all, we'll hacksaw it out and then we'll put it on the miller and get these curves just right. So that's what's next. Okay, so here we are looking at Jeff's miller and on the miller is one of my new Control levers. Control levers. Well, not gear lever. Not gear lever for the, for the Norley. And it's already been shaped, roughly speaking anyway. It's been drilled. And we've had some little cool looking holes drilled in it. To sort of match the style of the bike. And now, the good bit is when we're going to mill it. And make the shape that we want. And that's what's going to happen next. Okay, well, this is going to be pretty boring to watch, Jeff. So, uh, a lot of it is boring. So, we'll stop here and I'm going to have a look at something you made earlier and so now we come inside while Jeff machines out and mills out my new levers and here's some he's made earlier now what we're looking at here is not a great big thick lever it's actually three of them uh, all bolted together because it's much easier to do uh, three at once all bolted together on the miller and it saves a lot of time so here's the I think this is the gear change and this will be for the brake um, and so that's the kind of thing we'll be looking for for mine 
Okay, Jeff, you've now taken that off the miller just to show us the start of that just curve. Just radius start, yeah. Yeah. And now what's next? You're going to do the. I'm going to bolt on. that little mandrel yes. in, in there. Yes. Go around that one. Yeah. And then we have a mandrel there that just fits in that nicely. And so you can rotate I'll, the whole I'll, thing. I'll, I'll position it in that. Yeah. Bolt, bolt it through one of them holes. Yes. And then I can literally spin it on the rotary table and, get and, and do all them yes. without moving it. Yeah. Okay, so here we are back at Jeff's next day. He's been busy and he's finished milling these two levers. For me, it's great. And uh, yeah, they're pretty much as expected. If you go back to look at the um, diagram I drew out, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's pretty simple stuff. The next thing to do is to uh, machine these down and add some grooves in it to match something like these here. Um, and then also, of course, we've got to make the bushes, which will be bronze bushes in here, um, so that these can then be extended with a bar going through them and the whole thing can pivot and then bolt back onto the bike as the old ones used to do. So that's what's next. Yeah, so it's making progress and um, we'll come back in a few more days or so and hopefully we'll see it finished. And now here at last are the new levers just been machined up for my Norley. Uh, as you can see, we haven't gone for a bronze bushing, we've gone for roller bearings instead, which should give it a really smooth action. That's pretty good. Uh, still needs finishing, of course, you can see that big gouge there, which is something you get when using old offcuts of alloy and whatever. And now here we are at the bike, and we're just going to do a quick test fit of this gear change lever on these old mountain brackets. And as I expected, I've got a slight problem and I think you can't quite see there but this peg won't go in all the way um, and the reason for that is because I'd forgotten a while ago when we made these brackets this hole here has a step in it that was put there so that the old levers would work correctly but right now that steps no longer required and in fact it's a problem so these will have to come off and that hole needs to be drilled all the way through um, but anyway that's not a great problem and overall, though, I think that looks pretty good. I do like it much better than the old, more modern levers I had on the bike. However, there's also, as always, a problem because if that moves in by about five mil, this edge of the lever may well just touch the case. Therefore, therefore, what I'm going to do is to move out the whole thing by five mil, which means making new spaces here. I think they're now 10 mil, so they'll have to be um, 15 mil and in fact that's a good thing because it solves a bit of a worry I've got elsewhere in this area which I'll show you now and the problem lies with this nut here which bolts on the silencers to these hangers and the problem is that it sits so close to the side of the swing arm I reckon I've got about a millimeter clearance which really isn't enough it's okay now as the bike sits here but um, out on the road it wouldn't take much flex either in this or in a swing arm for that nut to hit the side of the swing arm which isn't ideal so by moving the whole thing 5mm I solved that problem and it also means this rather ugly spacer here can be 5mm shorter which is always a good thing because the shorter it is the better yeah so I've got to do that on this side and also on the brake side too so a bit of a pain but uh, needs must and it does mean I can improve things in this area which I always knew was a bit of a problem area so Get that done and then uh, we'll come back and see how it all looks.